tumezi tumezi pitia pale sawa so as i said uh, so as i said hatua ya kwanza ni harvesting sawa tuna provide containers kwa ajili ya harvesting pamoja na usafiri so these are the containers kwa wasta ni wai inakuwa ina kama kilo 25 mpaka 30 okay tunampatia mkulima na kwa nini tuna tuna tuna, tuna provide this container kwa sababu tulisema kwamba tuna determine wapi sababu imesha hivi si ndio kwa hiyo ukimpa mtu container it means atakuwa atendelea then afterwards baada ya mkulima kuwa ameshavuna na ameipakia kwenye gari atasafiri nayo kuja nayo mpaka hapa this is our weighing scale sawa na hii na harvesting gate kwa hiyo always way inakuwa iko open kwa hiyo tutapima uzito wa zabibu hapa and then mkulima atarekodi na sisi tunarekodi kwa ajili ya malipo lakini pia kwa ajili ya kumbukumbu kumbu zetu sawa kwa baada ya kutoka hapa zabibu itatoka itaenda kwenye crushing kama mnakumbuka eh tunasema crushing na distilling so uh, sema kitakachotoka pale sasa ni ile mixer ya maganda na vipeke na mchuzi this is a pump ambayo sasa inapokea ile mixture na yenyewe inazisukuma sasa kutoka kule mbele na tunatumia pipe iweze kutoka hapa either kama itakuwa ni white grapes basi iende kwenye press kama itakuwa ni red grapes ndio iende kwenye tank ya pressing uh, ya, ya fermentation okay sawa tukitoka hapa so this was Uh, mpila ule pale ndio ambao unatumika sawa unakuwa connected kwenye ile pump so it, if it was a white grapes then inakuja kwenye hii machine this is a pressing machine sawa kwa is just a normal machines lakini zinatusaidia ku save time na kufanya katika uh, big volumes sawa ile mashine pale inaweza ikafanya crushing na pressing ya tani karibu 12 nane mpaka 12 kwa risali moja hii press inaweza ikachukua tani mpaka crate kama zile pale. Unaziona zile crates? Zinaweza zikaingia crate mia, mia nne na hamsini kwa wakati mmoja. So inazichukua na inafanya nini? Inafanya press. So after here ikipress mchuzi unakuja kwenye hii beseni, beseni hiyo again capture. Kwa hiyo nadhani mmeanza kupata kwenye your mind what equipment you need at the same. So unahitaji crusher, distima, unahitaji press, mipila mingi ya kutosha na pamba. So from here Ndio na kuja kwenye settling kwa maana ya alternative ya kuichuja si ndio and this is our settling tank unaweza ukagusa hapo hapo katikati unaona wao baridi eh also touch it Yeah. So hii ni ile minus kati ya 5 to minus 5. Ambao tunataka juice yetu kwa sababu zabibu kumbuka itakuwa any organization ya harvesting hii. This is 10,000, eh? Yeah? Mm. Sawa, so, hii ni 10,000, 10,000. Kwa hiyo ni kama 2020. 2020 ni kama tani 30 au 25. Sawa. So, kwa hiyo inatakiwa zile zimekuwa organized on the same day. Sawa. So, harvesting on the same day, zimefika hapo on the same day, zimekuwa crushed on the same day na process nzima na imefika hapo ili zilale usiku wa leo kuja kesho. So that's another harvesting uh, uh, organization which is very important also kwa nyinyi kuweza kujua. Unajua wine is not only wine. Tunapitia hapo wa flan ambazo watu wengine nyuma hapa zao wanaweza kawa elewi. Unanielewa? Na probably anaweza mwingine akawa na complain. Kwa kwani hujavuna kwangu leo? Kwa nini hujaja kuvuna hata kesho? Lakini kumbuka huko ndani pia we have some management issues. Na this is only, not only tatu tans yani uwezi kuvuna uh, tani 30 kwa siku no possible yani unahitaji uvune at least um, angalau tani mia kwa siku so organization also is becoming difficult on this side kwa hiyo tunategemeana na ndio maana tunahitaji ukaribu na mkulima kwa sababu kuna wakati tunaweza tukamweleza kwamba tunataka kufanya kitu hichi na hichi kwa ajili ya our end good product kwa sababu pia ni muhimu kwa ajili yake product tukitengeneza ikawa sio na, na, na quality nzuri ikashindwa ku move sokoni it means we don't need volume we don't need grapes na hiyo mkulima atarudi. Itahitaji kukaa hapa on that same day 
lakini ibakie kuwa juice is ferment na kama nilivyosema kwamba ukiacha hivi wazi itaanza fermentation na that is not our aim tunataka kwanza iseto and then next day ipate ferment ianze fermentation that's why we keep it at that temperature sawa so, and then next day early in the morning tunaanza ku drain breaking nimezungumza issue ya breaking breaking ni kujaribu ku drain ile clear juice so unaweza kuona tuna options here yeah? uchafu mwingi unatoa machini kwa we just look at uh, tunaangalia kwenye nani yetu unaona hiyo gauge like that one is clean kwa uchafu unaweza kuwa chini kabisa kwa unaweza nikatumia option hii hapa au nikatumia option hii you can even move by inside you know different levels ambazo unaweza kuwa play so naitoa hapa sasa inaenda kwa nini fermentation. Nilisema kwamba kuna vitu vichache ambavyo tunavihitaji on top of our juice. Sawa? Cha kwanza is a house where fermentation can happen. Sababu inahitaji specific conditions kwa ajili ya 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 in order for it to happen. Sawa? Lakini vile vile from our uh, kwenye vipeperushi vyetu vya product. Sawa? Tuliona so, hapo kuna issue ya temperature controlling na nini na nini. So you need unahitaji mazingira hayo ambayo yataweza kuku laisishia hiyo kazi. One of it is temperature. Sawa? Hizi ni fermentation tanks kwa sababu zina uwezo control temperature. How they have unaona hapo katikati eh kuna hiyo part ambayo ni double layer ambayo ndani yake unaweza ukafikisha maji kama atakuwa ni ya moto au ya baridi. And this is the stainless steel tank. Sawa? Stainless steel tank character zake kubwa mbili tatu. Ya kwanza ni urahisi wa kusafisha lakini pia the look. You see screen lakini cha pili na uwezo wa ku 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 ku, ku, ku yani kuweza ku, kuakisi kitu chochote kiurahisi hasa kwenye upande wa temperature. Kwa kama itakuwa ni ujoto inaweza ikabadilisha haraka kama ni baridi na shusha. Lakini in winery au in wine making tunahitaji ubaridi most of the time kwenye storage process and everywhere. So we use stainless steel tank na tunaitengeneza jengo katika mfumo ambao ndani ya jengo kutakuwa kuna ubaridi. Si unaona ndani eh kwamba tunapunguza possibility za mwanga au yoto kuingia ndani so the stainless steel can keep your wine lakini on top of that kwa sababu ya fermentation process always wine and generate heat you know that lazima u control unaona zile pipe zile pipe zina supply maji ya baridi kwenye hizi tanki zote sawa so, how only by parking na hii tanki ina double layer ina layer mbili ndani ambayo is separate from what's inside sawa so, Maji yanaingia baridi so it means also the container will be cold. Kwa hiyo pia na wine yako itakuwa controlled tem. Japokuwa itakuwa ina emit some a heat lakini ile heat pia itakuwa inafanya na pause at the same time. Vile vile nilisema kwamba tunaweka uh, some yeast kwa ajili ya fermentation itself. Sawa. Kwa hiyo hapa kama itakuwa ni wine nyeupe itakaa siku 21 kwa wastani kuweza kumaliza uh, all the sugar. 